Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crochet this milk bottle step by step. And I'm going to use the white color yarn first. Let's take out the white yarn. And we go around the pinky finger, index finger, and middle finger, and hold the X section here. And grab the crochet hook like I do. We are going to use the thicker part to crochet. And we go into the big loop of your middle finger, your over puzzle, your over puzzle. And this is the chain. For the first stitch, I'm going to single crochet into the big loops and over puzzle and over puzzle and this is the first stitch also a single crochet I'm going to put on the stitch marker for the first stitch and lock and the second one go into the big loops and over puzzle and over and puzzle second single crochet and I'm going to do six single crochet to create a magic ring go into the first stitch go into the big loops yeah, over puzzle yeah, over and puzzle three and four five six and this is the last stitch one Two, three, four, five, six. Put on the stitch marker for the last stitch. I will put this tail end tight to form the magic ring. Let's take off the stitch marker for the first stitch, and we go into the first stitch here. Over puzzle and pull the first loop through the second one. This is a slip stitch and chain one. So for round one, we have six stitches total, and for round two, I'm going to do six increase. Go into the first stitch here. The first stitch is the stitch that we just slip stitch into. So we continue to go into the first stitch, your over puzzle, your over and puzzle all two loops on your hook. And this is the first stitch I'm going to put on the stitch marker for it. And for increase, we need to do two single crochet in the same stitch. So one more single crochet into the same stitch. The same stitch is the first one that we just single crochet into. And one more single crochet. So we just do increase all the way around. Second one also increase. One single crochet, two single crochet to the same stitch, and the next one also increase. Just repeat. Single crochet, repeat, increase to every single stitch. The last one. Increase. Now we repeat. We mark the last stitch using the stitch marker. And for round two, we have twelve stitches total. of the stitch marker I'm going to slip stitch to the first stitch and chain one for all three I'm going to single crochet and increase repeat all those process until the end it's um, like six times total I'm going to go into the first stitch over puff over puff 
So the first stitch is a single crochet and put on the stitch marker. And the next one, I'm going to increase. Increase means two single crochet to the same stitch. And I have done one single crochet, one increase for the first row. I'm going to just repeat all the way around until the end. So next one, single crochet and increase one, two, and single crochet one and increase one, two, next one single crochet the next one increase and single crochet to the next and increase single crochet the last one is increase so for round 3 we have 18 stitches total put on the stitch marker for the last stitch and slip stitch For round three, I'm going to for round three, I'm going to just single crochet to every single stitch by back loop through back loop only. Back loop only means we need to pick up the back loop only to crochet. And I'm gonna show you. This is the form loop. As you can see, this is the reshaped stitch form loops here and back loop here so I need to pick up the back loop for the first stitch it's in here first stitch this is the back loop back loop back loop to single crochet so I'm going to go into the back loop and over the floor and over the floor. this is our first stitch and Mark the first one, back loop only. Pick up the back loop, yarn over puzzle, yarn over puzzle. Just single crochet to every single stitch through back loop only. And the last one also back loop only put on the stitch marker and slip stitch chain one To just single crochet to every single stitch I'm going to go into the stitch to every single reshape stitch first one single crochet put on the stitch marker for the first stitch and two single crochet three we have 18 stitches so we need to do 18 single crochet 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11,
So for round 4 to round 10, it's all the same. So I'm gonna skip to the end of round 10 and just single crochet to every single stitch. And this is the end of round 10. I'm going to continue the crochet to the last two stitches just single crochet for the last stitch of round 10 I'm going to switch to the blue yarn got one pinky finger in this finger and hold it to the piece your over proof and put this turn and tight. And this is our last stitch and we have to mark the last stitch. Let's take off the stitch marker. stitch to slip stitch <coughs> and chain one and now I'm going to do 18 half double crochet through from the pony for round 11 so we go over first and pick up the form loop only. Pick up the form loop only. This is the form loop. Form loop and back loop. The over pull the over and pull through all three loops on your hook. So over first, pick up the form loop only. And remember to put the leftover yarn over your crochet hook. Over pull it through. Over and pull through all three loops on your hook. <coughs> oh, sorry, I forgot to lock the first stitch here. And you're over. This is the second. Go. Pick up the form loop only. The over to form. Sorry. Here we put the left of yarn over the crochet hook. So we can hide the tail end into the stitch. The over pull is full and we can see there is three little loops on your hook. Now over for all three loops. And just continue to do the half double crochet through from the dummy.
can take off the stitch marker. Slip stitch. Treatment. Now we can trim this yarn. And hide it till an inch with the stitches. So this is one 11 by the blue yarn and I'm going to crochet it around 12 Start from here Go around the pinky finger and the last finger and hold it to the piece And I'm going to just single crochet to the back side only so I need to just put it inside and we pick up the back loop only here is the back loop single crochet single crochet one and we put on the stitch marker for the first stitch just one by one. One, two, and three. Yeah. 
Just pick up the back loop on me. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. So this is the last stitch. Put on the stitch mark for the last stitch. And slip stitch to the first. And chain one. So we have 18 stitches for round 12. For round 13, I'm going to do one single crochet, one decrease for six times total. So the first one is single crochet, put on the stitch marker. And decrease, pick up the form loops only for the next two stitches. And single crochet. And the next is decrease, pick up the form loops only. single crochet just repeat one single crochet one decrease for six times total all the way around until the end Last one is decrease put, put on the stitch mark for the last stitch and we can also stuff in we have 12 stitches total and slip stitch stitch so six decrease total first one is decrease also mark the first stitch and decrease
14, we have 6 stitches total, 6 stitch. Fifteen. I'm going to do six single crochet one by one. This is the first single crochet. It's different. I mean, the finished product is different from the last time I crochet. This one is bigger than that one. We use one of the strings.